Our kindergarten students have been busy preparing a song for you. They are singing a Noongar traditional song, Jinda Jinda. I'd like to ask Jasmine and Stefan to come to the stage to lead us in prayer. The birth of every person present here this evening and indeed of every human being throughout time, we see through our eyes of faith as a miracle. Tonight our focus is on recalling the story of birth of Jesus Christ, given to us by our Father God over 2,000 years ago, that we may enjoy eternal life with him. Our students will take us to the Bethlehem Street to remind us of the miracle that happened there. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, in this holy season of prayer and song and laughter, we praise you. For the great wonders you have sent us, for shining star and angel's song, for infants cry in a lowly manger. We praise you for the word made flesh in a little child. We behold his glory and are bathed in its radiance. Mary, our good mother, Saint Marcelin Champagne, Saint John Henry Newman, Saint Mary of the Cross, and let us always remember to pray for one another. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. choosing our inn. Located on beautiful Bethlehem Street, just minutes from downtown Bethlehem, the finest one-star hotel in all of Judea. 
Benjamin, don't give the story away. Sorry. As you know, I've always welcomed everybody to my inn. Everybody? Well, almost everybody. Always? Okay, so maybe I've changed a little. Don't be so modest, Benjamin. You've changed a lot. He used to be the greediest, the most selfish, the most narrow-minded, the most pig-headed. All right, all right, they get the idea. It's okay, Benjamin. I've changed a lot too. Let's just tell the story. I thought you'd never ask. It all started a few years ago, just about the time the Roman government passed a new law. Hear ye, hear ye. This just in a bulletin from our divine ruler, Caesar Augustus. Everyone. Good morning, sir. So, we've got an idea we'd like to try out. What is it? 
Well, sir, we've got hundreds of people coming to town and all of them need a place to stay. This is a chance to make some big money. How? Why don't we give the inn a new image? Yeah, instead of one night donkey stop, it could be a luxury inn. Get rid of the riffraff. No more peasants, no more lepers. No more tax collectors! Yeah! Only the most important people at your inn. Extra shackle or two. I like it, I like it. How do we get them here? Superior service. Big on every pillow at night. Ballet camel pitching! Yeah. yeah! Each guest will get a special sleeping mat made of the softest bulrushes. And over the front door of Big Sun, five bees. Benjamin, best bulrush and breakfast? Never mind. B and B. And at the top of the sign, a big throwing star to light it up at night. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. good. Splendid idea. Make up the sign at once. What's going on here? Ah, oh, my little desert blossom. We have some marvellous plans for the inn. <coughs> plans? What kind of plans? A whole new image. Picture a brand new sign with five big bees on it. Do you know what that stands for? Yeah. I think we're going to need a different name. Don't worry, sir. We'll get it right on it. But the name's not important. What's important is that we'll be a luxury inn. Nothing but the finest guests. Benjamin, really? No, I mean it. We'll have kings knocking at our door before you can say epiphany. We'll get rich. Benjamin, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. Besides, last night I had the strangest dream. Oh no, you and your silly dreams. What was it this time? Another angel? As a matter of fact, yes. And it told me something very important was about to happen here. Well, that proves it then. Even heaven knows we're going to make money off this census. I must admit when I sleep at night that I find Instead of counting sheep, I'm counting dollar signs
gold than you are with me. Do you need anything, Anne? No. You might as well help my husband with his great plan. I'm afraid I can't, ma'am. It's my job to take care of the stable. Ma'am? Yes? I can't help wondering, what was your dream about? Well, I'm glad somebody wants to know. Yes, I really do. Well, when it started, I was watching these two people, a man and a woman, walking down a long road all alone. And I could see they looked very tired, like they were a long way from home. And as they stopped for a rest, I noticed that the woman was expecting a baby. I know that doesn't seem all that unusual, but all of a sudden I had this really strong feeling that the Messiah was very close, just around the next bend. And that's when I heard the angel. He said to me, stay awake, be ready when he comes. The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. Please. This is outrageous. 
Sorry, we don't take Samaritan Express. It looks awfully crowded, Joseph. What if they don't take us? We don't have a choice. We tried everywhere else. We're tired of waiting in line. Give us a place to rest. I'm afraid we only take the best. It's getting late. You'll have to wait. It's hard and cold. Let's see your gold. And when the angels were singing, it sounded so easy. Did I hear somebody say angel? <laughs> yeah, you did. Did you hear them too? Not exactly, but tell me what happened. So we're all out in the field watching our sheep. That's what we do. We're shepherds, you know. Right, so all sitting around kind of like this. Yes, you don't see how it was. There was 
Yeah, and it's really dark and quiet. And then, all of a sudden, right up there in the sky, angels! Yeah! yeah. And they're all singing fucking telling us when the sky is coming. And that's how it happened. So what do you think? I think they're telling you all to come and see. Come on, follow me.
Benjamin. Rachel, I really wanted to impress everybody, especially people like those teens. 
It's all right, Benjamin. It doesn't matter now. I thought turning those people away would make me look important. I think I've made a terrible mistake. Well, if you have, you've come to the right place. Ma'am, I'm really sorry I didn't find a room for you. You're welcome at the inn if you like. Hey, I think he likes me. Well, that's the way it happened. And from that night on, I was a totally changed man. Totally? Okay, I've still got a few rough spots. He wanted to take the star off our sign and put it on the stable. Permanently. I was excited, that's all. How often do you get to see a miracle? Well, I'm glad you're telling the truth at last. That's why when we see a new group of travellers like yourself, we can't help going out on Bethlehem Street and waking up the whole neighbourhood to tell them you're all welcome at our place. The Messiah has come. conclude the evening all of the students would love for our parents as well to join in singing some community carols so mrs body who is over there in a lovely red christmasy dress is going to help lead us all so i'll ask all of our parents as well to please join in for our last few carols before we conclude the evening thank you
through our evening. What, what a fantastic way to celebrate the conclusion of 2019 and the festive season which is approaching. On behalf of all the staff, I'd like to thank all of you for being here this evening. I think we can all agree that the children perform beautifully. This year's event has been a truly special celebration and obviously performances such as these can't happen without the hard work of a lot of people. On behalf of the leadership team, I would like to say a big thank you to Amy, Regine Jakuma and Nicole Body, who are our directors this evening, to Ms. Lisi Zambonetti and Five Red for carrying all of the narrative tonight, to Bethwin Legg and Geordie Andrews for set design and painting, to Dixie Johnstone for stage management and Adam James and the tech team, to our maintenance staff for set construction, stage construction and grounds management today, including setting up in the 40 degree heat, to all of our amazing primary staff, particularly Sarah Spencer and our classroom teachers, also Kerry Martin and Jan Robertson for their administrative support. To Marie Graydon and the Marsland Art staff for their support of this event. And also to our parents, everyone here, who helped provide costuming for their children today. Please join me in congratulating our staff and students on the success of this evening. Impromptu performers are always the best ones. I would like to take this opportunity again to wish everybody a safe and happy Christmas. And before we do finish up this evening, I will ask again that you please wait until directed to collect your children uh, from their teachers. And a reminder to ensure that you have been acknowledged by the classroom teacher before you leave so that we can make sure that everyone has been collected. Also, please take care leaving the car park making your way to your cars and then leaving the school premises today. There are a lot of people who need to get home this evening, so we need to be careful and mindful of each other. So let's have one more big round of applause for everybody tonight. And until we have been instructed, I'll ask all of the students to stay seated. Can we first have our kindy students collected and our year five. So our kindies are over to this side, the left of the stage, and our year fives to the right. Everyone else please stay seated until directed. <laughs> 